Steve Carrington, Mayor of Palmer, wanted to take you five days into the future for our April 25th Palmer City Council meeting. And actually, I should mention one of the first things is uh, there's actually an emergency meeting, one that we just put together today uh, at 5.30 on the 25th for the council regarding the something concerning the Glen Highway Phase 2 Utility Relocation Agreement. Uh, something's come up with that, and we have to have a meeting to make sure it gets sorted out so we don't delay that project of uh, construction on the Glen Highway. And then for the regular meeting at 6 o'clock April 25th, we have two presentations. Amy Spargo will be presenting about the Arctic Winter Games coming next year to a town like Palmer. And then also Public Works Director Jude Bilfer will be presenting uh, probably about uh, roads and other things. Uh, also during that meeting we have two proclamations recognizing May 4th as a day of prayer and a proclamation recognizing April 30th as National Therapy Animal Day. And then during the reports, um, Sarah Heath, our city attorney, will be presenting public safety and livability enhancements during her city attorney's report. I've seen some, a few of the slides and it should be a good presentation talking about public safety and how things work in Palmer. Uh, then we also have two public hearings. Uh, there's a resolution 23-011 directs the city manager to accept a grant from the state DNR for the city of Palmer Fire and Rescue of uh, $5,759.45 to purchase wildland fire equipment. And there's also another resolution, 23-013, which supports the MVP for Transportation, Matsu Valley Planning for Transportation as the Metropolitan Planning Organization of the Matsu area. Um, let's just say it, it feels kind of strange to me to refer to any of our local areas as metropolitan. But that's how the census has come out and the feds have kind of declared that to be so. So now there's different federal requirements for things like money for roads. Um, so that, that's a public hearing and we will, I'm sure, have some robust discussion about that resolution. And then we have four action memorandum. Uh, 23-020 is a standard liquor license for Alaska State Fair. Uh, 021 is a council community grant to the Rodeo Alaska for uh, $1,500 with an extra $3,000, um, I think, out of marketing from the city manager. Apparently, he really likes rodeos. There's a AM 23-022 involves grant money through Homeland Security to purchase new mobile radios for the city. And 23-023 authorized city manager to purchase new fire hose. And that's based out of our adopted 2023 budget. And then for upcoming meetings and events, we've got April 28th, 29th is Who Let the Girls Out? That's, I think, starting tomorrow. No, the next weekend. Uh, April 29th, uh, 10.30 is uh, Saturday Story Time with the Muskox Farm in Palmer with Friends of the Palmer Library. May 6th and 7th, the following weekend, is the 2023 Great Alaska Aviation Gathering at State Fairgrounds and the Palmer Municipal Airport. That's from the Alaskan Airmen Association. Uh, May 9th, we have a special meeting at 5 p.m. with the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board. Uh, we usually have a joint meeting with our boards and commissions once a year, and uh, they have asked that they be next in line. They've got some things they want to talk to us about. And then there's the regular meeting at 6 o'clock on May 9th as well. And upcoming presentations uh, in May, we're going to have Gina Davies regarding the wonders and intricacies of online sales act. So this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our April 25th, 2023 Palmer City Council meeting.